Even my motives are hunted. Try not to dwell on the past. How I keep wasting my time, my days and the years, my life moving too fast. So many friends that didn't last. Hoping ain't good in the end. Cause I ain't doing too bad. I'ma just do what I can. I do what I can with what I got. Control what I can. If I cannot, it's what it is, but I'm not gonna stop. Taking no breaks, let me run up the clock. Beat that and drop it, you out of your socks. Be my own lane, I don't have to mock. Don't got a mimic, it's not a gimmick. Just know that I'm with it. Down in my soul when this dream is so vivid. Everything making more sense when I spit it. Like it was already written. Speaking the life, everything that I'm living. It's the reason that I'm blessed. I mean, look how I'm switching the flows. Gotta admit that I'm getting. Taking pride in the things that I'm giving. I'm on a mission. Just just hoping you listen, turning your vision the reason you living. Once you go up, people think that you miss them. Like, how did we miss them? We was just chopping it up in the kitchen, talking about doing the things that we wanted to do, but we didn't. Thinking it's too late to dream, but it isn't. Confused with the life, I'm too angry to live, so I'm changing my views because there's no way to live it. Coffee break. celebrating people. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another Coffee Break episode. Um, today's pretty dope. We got a special guest, L. Woody. And we're going to talk about what he's doing, what his life is like, and what new projects he got going on. So stay tuned. Don't stop this video and keep watching. Let's get into it. What is going on, my guy? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Yo, thanks for coming in for um, for this coffee break episode, bro. Thanks for, for the for connecting, you know what I'm saying? And, and hopefully we get into a good some good convos about what you got going on. Um, like Absolutely. every coffee break, bro, we, we have a share some some coffee today. Coffee, we got Cafe Real, who's always sponsoring these videos. Um, and a shout out to Cafe Real for the amazing coffee that that we get to to share and and talk. You know. Absolutely, man. Um, so what's up, bro? How you been, man? I've I've been good, man. I've been good, man. Not, not too many uh, not too much complaints, man. I just been just been trying to dial in, man. Just been working and um. Not only working at my job, but also, you know, working on my craft as well, man. Yeah. Just uh, just trying to put the word out there, man. That's it, really, you know? Dude, I'm, I'm excited for you, bro, because um, if you don't know, right, El Woody right now is is working on a huge project um, musically. He's an artist, right? So it's like, let everybody know just a little bit about you, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, the people that don't, that might not know who El Woody is. I'm 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 a full I like to say I'm a full time I'm a full time artist and a part time chef. You know, it's just a you know, I I've, I've always desired to be a chef and a cook. That's what I do for a living. That's my trade. Um that isn't who I am. You know, there's a whole different aspect. You know, I'm a I'm a father, you know, and I also have a I have a lady at home as well, you know, so it's a, it's 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 kind of difficult to balance out everything, you know, but Honestly, I'm, I'm a very simple person. You know, I, I, I like to be driven by passion and intention. Um, it's, it's really what what drives even me musically, you know? Music for me is like, it's an outlet. It's a, it's a way that I'm, I'm able to become one with my thoughts, you know, for me to understand myself better. You know, when I start to put things down on paper, it like, uh, it brings it brings it to life. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it brings, it brings my thoughts to life. I'm able to dissect them, you know? And so, and I've always been, been musically inclined, you know, since I was young, you know, my, my family has always been musically oriented. Yeah. Um, and that's something that we've always uh, connected with. Um, uh, I'm at this point in my life where I want to start to be more, not necessarily serious, but, uh, I know that there's people out there that need to hear with well, what I have to say, you know, because what I what I write helps me in my journey. I know there's somebody out there that might be going through the same thing and might not know how to uh, necessarily get themselves through it. Or, you know, sometimes, you know, we even as humans and we feel like we go through things alone, you know, especially when we get into places that um, that are challenging. Um, we feel like we're the only ones going through this and you know this. You know, they're saying that, that oh, there's somebody out there that's going through worse, going worse. through worse, you know, but there's somebody out there going through the same thing that you're going through, you feel me? Like yeah. and and they need to hear what you have to say and how right. you made it how you made it out, you know, and um I feel like that's that's the vibe that I'm on, you know, and um 
I'm getting to a point in my life where I just, I love to, I'm, I'm loving to live, you know, and, and not just live like, uh, you know, go to work, come back and take care of the bills, but like live with intention, you know, mm. do things with purpose. Yeah, um, that's good. Go throughout my day, like, you know, like even just sitting here down here with you, you know, it isn't just, oh, you know, let's, you know, no, it's, it's, it's an intention, you right. know what I mean? And, and once you align with what your purpose is and you start to move in that intention, the doors that's going to open, um, even just the feeling that you get emotionally, you know, when you're putting your effort into something like when you're like, a, I feel like when a farmer plants into fertile ground, you know, he knows that something's going to be, it's going to, it's going to reap from that. Yep. And that's just what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I've been in a point in my life where I've planted seed into non-fertile ground and expected things to come from it and nothing came forth, you know? Yep. Um, I, I want to be intentional, intention, intentional yeah. of where I'm planting my seeds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's good, bro. And and um um, that's a good that's a good start to to this um conversation that that we want to have because I I want to stay stuck on the on on what you have called or titled you know yeah. one of your songs change right mm -hmm. and um and that's a song that you've been pushing out and. You did you just recently did the video by the way is is phenomenal i thought it was well put together i thought um when i saw the video how you could see certain videos and the video doesn't match the song it yeah. just looks like they just threw a video just to throw it out there just so to put images together, yeah, yeah so i i liked i liked the whole thing um about it and and you called the change and that's what we want to stay about you know touch on here you know, we're not going to talk about your chef. We we gave you a little bit that he does chef. He does just a little <laughs> yeah. bit summary about who he is. But yeah. I know we're going to, you know, touch on who you are as the artist today. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and what you're doing um, with your artistry, um, with your craft, the music. You know what I mean? And, and now this project that you got going on that I feel that it'll be good for people that are following me, that are following you to get a little bit in depth mm -hmm. as to... You know what you want to do with this with this project um and i love the the whole that that single called change because mm -hmm. you know it, it it talks a lot about you know where where you're trying to like how you're trying to set yourself up you know what i mean mm -hmm. in the midst of things that are happening and the video does a really good you know gives a good visual mm -hmm. as to what you know what change or metamorphosis you're yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. go through you know what i'm saying Absolutely. And um, I, I like that. So like, now with this project that you got going on, right? Like, um, and this change, mm -hmm. do you feel that this, out of all the tracks that you're gonna pull out with this project, you feel change is what kind of like sparked this desire to kind of like enter into the direction you're going into right now? Yeah, I'm. I mean, I, absolutely, man. Great question, by the way, too, man. Um, a change. Change is literally the th the thing that sparked um, th even the project. You know, like last year, literally last June, um, and I I was nowhere in my mind. Like you know, I, I've always done music, and and um, I was just going through things in my life. You know, where I was adapting and I was changing. You know, um, and I was just you know it was like one of those moments where you know you you get creative and you know okay I want to feed off that you know so I was just playing beats and then um, excuse me and I just started to write man and and it was like it was one of those songs that just flowed you know it wasn't I didn't have to force it you know what I mean like I didn't have to like oh what am I gonna put next like no it, it was something that genuinely came from my heart and um, and I've, out of everything that I've written that right there it was it's like it's like my anthem and it's been my anthem for about a year you know it's like since i've since i've since we've uh we've brought it to life you know it's been something that um i feel like it, it kind of just makes sense to me entirely and it's something that um that i build around you know that was like that was the spark but that that also was the standard you know what i mean for me and myself and being creative where it was like it was just so free and it was like man you know this is something that actually that for me it's like it comes from a place you know and and um that was the standard for the rest of the project you know so so yeah man yeah, yeah. 
I, I, I like it, you know what I mean? Because, like, it, it, every time I hear that song, the first, you know, like, the only thing that I can just think about is, like, the, like, newness, right? Like, mm-hmm. something new that's that's coming for your life, you know exactly. what I'm saying? And I think that's where you were trying to get to anyway, you know what I mean? Where it's, like, I'm trying to put something new out there, me, and, like, I love that that line that, that you said, you know, um, I'm going to choose love, you know, I'm going to choose peace, I want to be me, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And when you, what, what exactly, when you wrote that line, like, what was in your thought process of, like, you know, I, I want to be me, I choose love, I choose peace, especially, like, why now do you want to choose love and why now do you want to choose peace? I went a long time thinking that I had something to prove to someone. You know what I mean? I feel like we all go through that. Especially us as artists, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when you have parents as well that hold you to standards as well, you know, you kind of go through this thing where you like, you know, I, 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 I gotta do this, you know what I mean? Because I gotta show them. Mm-hmm. I gotta show them that I can, you know what I mean? And um, and it becomes to a point where you become drained and you fall out of love with what you're passionate about because you're waiting for people to come up to you like, yo, man, you're doing a good job. Or, yo, man, you're doing this. Or um, you're waiting for somebody to wake Ooh. you up and inspire you and, and to approve you exactly, mm. to approve what you're doing. But, um, you know, and I, I felt I felt some way, shape, or form angry, you know? Like, I felt, I felt like um, those things were expected, you know? And... The more you start to like get in tune with yourself, I, and I feel like if, if anybody out there, man, like if 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 you're finding yourself in a place where you're troubled, man, and allowing allowing yourself and God to analyze you, mm. to self-analyze yourself, right. we all need that. Like we all have to look at what we're doing and why we're doing it. If we're okay with the why, if it's aligned with what God wants for us then cool let's move forward and let's be unapologetic about it right. let's not wait for somebody to be like yo you're doing a good job or yo keep going and doing what you're doing man just align yourself all of that other stuff is going to fall into place right. and so for me it was just more like it was like you know in the beginning the, the word before that line comes in it's like testing my faith got me blurring my sight and it's just you know that kind of thing where it's like you know you, you move by faith and not by sight That's right. but it's like test the more that i test my faith the more that I test myself and test my boundaries, the stronger that I become, the less that I have to use my flesh, my physical seeing like, okay, because I could see that over there, I could obtain it. You know what I mean? It's very easy. Like, oh, I see that over there on the table. I can grab it because I can see it. But what about the things that you can't see that are not in your in your rear view or or are not in your, um, your surrounding and what you're able to grasp? You know, what about those things? So it's like, I'm not necessarily talking to somebody. I'm talking to me, Mm. you know? So it's like testing my faith, got me blurring my sight. So I'm going to be meek, even though I have the power to tear my surrounding down and, and, and do things out of emotion. I can't, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be what God called me to be. And I'm going to choose love. So anything that I do. And when I say that to myself in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to choose love. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love others. I'm going to put love first. I'm going to critique you out of love. I'm going to construct you out of love. I'm going to correct you out of love. I'm going to show you and direct you out of love. And I'm going to do it with peace because I've lived a long life of me being unpeaceful because of the things and the intentions of how I was doing things. So it brings me back to my why. Why am I doing it? You know what I mean? Like, that's good, bro. Why am I um, embarking on this journey? Why am I making music? Why do I want to be an artist? Why, why, why? Yep. Before it was out of all these things, it was out of, oh, I'm going to prove to them I could do this. You know, it was hate. Mm. I'm going to prove to them I could do this. I'm going to show them that I can. I'm going to be better why? than, I'm going to be better than this. I'm going to be better than them. Mm. It was the pride. It was the, it was the intention was mm. incorrect. So I had to change that. So when I chant that, it's more of a way that I'm reminding myself of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Oh, that's so good, bro. You know, and 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 that's what that's what makes me gravitate, right, to 
to artists and their craft because it's more than it's more than a song right it's more than just being an artist to just produce music and make mm -hmm. music because nowadays anybody can can make a, a track right but oh, now literally. Li yeah literally <laughs> anybody can literally. make a track bro but and then now like what do you what what makes me gravitate just in general is just the the um the package mm -hmm. that's being delivered you know what i mean because mm -hmm. it's a story like you said you know relatable mm -hmm. you you you're going through a season in your life that somebody else can potentially be going through that same exact season it's possible exactly. and and you want to be able to to deliver that that message to them so that's why when i listen to music and when i listen to 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 artists I like to see what kind of package they're delivering. You know what I mean? If they're gonna just give me one good song and that's about it, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. whack. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But if you give me a whole package that you take me through a whole, um, uh, like a process. Not that I want to know your life from A to Z, mm. but I just feel like a lot of people in the um, that listen to music, yeah. they want relatable artists yeah. that they can connect with, and not necessarily they want to know everything about your life. But that they see a process happening in life that is possible that, you know what, if he went through that process and he made it out and he's going through it, I could probably go through that too. That, that's why I love like um, when you did change and you've been promoting that and then you also been really heavily promoting a cover, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I don't see a lot of people promoting their, their covers like that, yeah, yeah. For, but um, I love what you did with the cover because that also is very detailed. Mm -hmm. as far as what message you still want to deliver like it's constantly you're, you're constantly telling the people like i really got a message for you yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. you know what i'm saying i got a story that i think you could relate to and um the the cover that you did which i'll i'll post up and everybody can, can see it in the video um the the cover that you did i think it was pretty pretty fire shout out to joseph sd that's your brother yeah, yeah. another artist oh, yeah. who who um a man of many you know abilities too he did the he did the artwork right for the yeah, yeah. the did, at least yeah, the track the, list the, the, to-do list yes yeah. so I where he has the graffiti dope. on the side yeah 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 but now nah, shout out to my brother man he's a he's an amazing inspiration as well and just for him to tie in and be a part of that for me it's just uh it's just one of those things that ties back into who i am you know what i mean like uh i want to be i want to be one of those artists that i'm the same mm. Um, that oh that's not like my artist version. I've I've heard a couple artists say that. Oh the artist version of oh, me. Oh gotcha. You know what I mean? Like oh the art that's the artist version of me. No, no that's me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that even it's not a persona. It's not a different nah, person nah, nah. that you're trying to be. Yeah. I don't get into that where I'm like trying to tap into like L Woody or L Wood. Like no, like that's why my rap name is L Wood. A lot of people call me Woody L Wood L Wood. Like it. It's cool. All of those, are, all of those are cool, you know. But my rap name is Elwood. My real name is Elwood. Like it's, yeah. there's no, you know, you know. I remember before I used to be. I remember like one of my first rap names was God's Messenger. Like that's like a throwback. Like you ever heard a God's Messenger track? I put out like a three song EP that never went anywhere. It's just like a lot of people. That is, it's probably still in the studio. <laughs> like you know, for real. Like that drink never got released or nothing. Yeah. But um, like even going back with that and the names and stuff and like. I just want to show people that it's me. You know what I mean? Like this is me. Like even like when people hear my project and hear the and hear the album, like you're gonna hear like you're gonna hear the humor, you're gonna hear the wittiness, like you're gonna hear all of that in there. You know what I'm saying? The creativity, the sounds, like um I've always been um I always like imitated instruments through my vocals, you know what I'm saying? So like even that plays a part, you know, but as far as with the uh, the cover, man, I had this like idea and I was just like, yo, you know, like I want to put something together that like, like for me, it's very, very sentimental. You know what I'm saying? Because this project is like, I've done a project before, but for this one specifically, it's like, man, I'm so clear headed, dude. Like, mm -hmm. you, like know? you know, where you're going. yeah, you know, like I know what I'm trying to do. I'm not like, oh, you know, let me do this song. Like, no, 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 no. Like, it's like because I'm, yeah, I'm confident in what I'm doing. I'm, I'm leaving the studio. Like, okay, like, cool. Like, if there's something I gotta work on, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm not settling. I'm not, you know, like I was supposed to drop the project July 1st. You know, 
was about three days late. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I want to put something out there that I know that I could sleep at night. You feel me? And it's like, yeah, it's a little bit of perfectionist, but it's cool. But it's, it's, it's not so much perfection that I'm trying to obtain. It's more, it's more like, okay, like I had a thought and I had a idea and I want to make sure that it sounds and feels like how I want it to feel. Like how I intended it for it to feel, how it made me feel when I wrote it. So when I was putting this piece together, I'm like, you know, I wanna, my brother's really nice with the tag and his handwriting is super creative. Like, um, and I'm like, you know, that'll be, that'll be cool, you know, like to write a to-do list because when I had the idea, because when I had the idea for the actual album name, it's called uh, a to-do list and some patience. Um, when I first had the idea, it's because literally like, I've had to get on that wave where I had to start writing things down. That's what helped me like even like adapt and like, you know, grow as a person, you know, like writing things down, like becoming more intentional with what you're doing. If you have an idea, cool, write it down, like bring it to life. Right. And that's the whole idea behind the to-do list is like, even when you go through the list of, of songs, all those things are, they're not necessarily chores, but they're, they're spiritual and emotional chores, you know? And, even though I had my physical life okay, had a good job, I'm taking care of my bills, all of these okay, but how am I doing emotionally? Because ultimately that affects everything. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, I need to make an emotional to-do list. And that's literally what this song is about. It's an emotional and spiritual to-do list. It's yeah. about aligning myself spiritually first so that way it could come to life yeah. physically. You know what I mean? So it could be come to life physically. So I had him do the, the tagging and it was dope. And then every single little piece that I have on there is all intentional. And I want people to know that when I do things, I do them for a reason. Yeah. When you watch your favorite show and you're like, oh, I remember from the first episode in the, I'm creating seasons. Yeah. And, isn't, and sometimes it happens inadvertently. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But majority of the time, 99% of the time, it's intentional. intentional. So even if you see something, I'm, I might I might drop an Easter egg on my cover. Yeah. And a year later, I might bring something to light from that cover. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everything is ex uh, is extremely intentional. Yeah. Everything is, is it's a part of me. Yeah. And that's what I want people to know that I am the same person. That's so good. That's who I am. I like that, bro. You feel and, me? And I, I love what you're doing with the whole thing. You know what I mean? And and I'm glad that we were able to, you know, have this conversation like that so that, that people can also see a little bit more, you know what I mean, of, of what you what you want to do with it, who you are, you know what I mean? And just open the door for people to just, you know, tap into a little bit of your life, you know what I mean? And how you see things and view things. Um, I can't wait for the project to, to, to see the project um, uh, drop and, you know, all the videos that are probably going to come out out of it. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> sure. it's it's going to be um, it's going to be pretty fire, bro. And so it's like, what what can we what can you tell the people now that what they can expect? Like if it was like maybe like, you know, two, two or three words of, of like what people can expect from this project, like what what would you tell them? Um, it, one thing I could definitely say is, is emotion, mm. but not emotional. Mm. I'm extremely one with my emotions. Mm. So you're going to feel that, but it's, it's going to be also vulnerability, but direction extremely directed you know you're gonna feel it you're not gonna feel out of whack or oh man like you know no no it's like i'm i want people to understand that it's it's cool and that there is there's there's a better outcome and there's a solution to going through the 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 tribulations of life that it's okay. Right. You know, especially us as men, it's, it's cool to be emotional. It's cool to go through those things, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna let it beat you down. Right. It's victorious. It's, I'm moving forward. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And 
when you listen to the album and when the album does hit there's gonna be is for me is it's 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 gonna be calm it's gonna be peaceful mm. but it also is also gonna be like wow like a breath of fresh air like it's gonna be like an ice cold bottle of water after walking through the desert you know what i mean like it's nice refreshing refreshing bro and and for me it's it's literally it's uh, it's life yeah. like and i'm not just saying this because it's my music like it's yeah. it's life bro like even i'm my biggest fan I listen to my stuff and I'm just like, oh, like, yeah, it's fire. you know, because I allow myself to be driven creatively, bro, through what I feel in my spirit, man. Yeah. Like, like I hear something, I hear a sound or a no, or oh, let me do it yeah, me because I feel it. it. And when it happens, it's like, man, this emotion that I feel from just that sound, yeah. you know, it's like, that's what people are going to feel. You know, it's not just going to be like, oh man, this dude got dope bars or like, nah, like you're going to bob your head. Yeah. I guarantee you're gonna bob your head to every song, man. You know, but there's definitely gonna be stuff that is gonna be like, hmm, I needed that. Yeah. I needed to hear that. That's good. You know, like, even with the song, there's a song on there called Deal With Anxiety. And a lot of people don't talk about that, man. A lot of people don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything is like, you know, oh, okay, dealing with this, dealing with that, but those are, those are false prophets in our life. You know, depression, anxiety, you know, stuff that us as humans, like we try to, you know, even like if you're a kind of person where you're headstrong and you're, you know, you could be confident in all those things and still deal with that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, when nobody's looking, you know, and anxiety doesn't have to be like, oh my God, oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like it, it could be just like overthinking, mm -hmm. being overwhelmed, you know what I'm saying? Like of not knowing the future, of not knowing what's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? And and even even that song is dope. You hear it, you like, damn, the bars. But you're you're subconsciously feeding that into your mind, and mm. yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it sounds cool. But what you're listening to is refreshing. You're not even noticing. You're not even noticing what's happening while it's happening. Yeah, yeah. And my music is the album is gonna be like you hear one. You hear from beginning to end one day. And it'd be dope. You hear it beginning to end another day, and it hits different. Yep. You hear it again beginning to end one day. It's like things that you're gonna unlock. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh wow, this is what he meant when he said that. Oh, this is what he meant when it's like everything needs to be dissected. You can't just listen to the song with just oh, okay, cool. You know, yeah. it's intentional. Nice, bro. I like that, bro. I, re I really do. Because then that means it's gonna be a, a project that that people can just hold on to, mm -hmm. not for just you know release date. Yeah, it's no. gonna be a project that you gotta take some time to just really listen to it and allow it to to speak to you because yeah. you got a message like mm -hmm. you said, right? Um, and I feel like it's gonna be very challenging for people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna challenge them to to think different. It's gonna yeah. challenge them to choose love when they can't choose love. Yeah. You know, it's gonna challenge them. To make a change when they don't want to change, you know what I mean. But you, I think, from from what I see and from what you're projecting, I think it's gonna be a, a, a template. You know what I'm saying for people to kind of like follow and and help. You know, in in one way, shape, or form, to get through certain things that that you're gonna be talking about. It. So I'm 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 pretty excited about it, bro. I'm glad we were able to. Um, to chop it up a little bit as yeah, far man. as like you know what you're doing with the project and stuff um be, before we cut it out is there a, a single that you might drop um before the project from the project i like i like i like the fact that especially like on instagram i'm extremely active on instagram mm -hmm. i don't know you could plug in my instagram yeah, somewhere bro, over yeah, here or over here or wherever they, wherever they, they go you'll see it in the description most definitely but I'm ex I'm even intentional on Instagram, you know? Yeah. Yesterday I did a live yeah. and I was gonna see whoever popped in popped in yeah. because I was gonna I was gonna throw a sneak peek of a single. Yeah. But nobody popped in. Okay. You know, I was waiting. If I had like five people, yeah, then you were gonna do it. I was gonna do it. Yeah. Because right now I'm building my fan base and that's what I want to and I and I don't mean like fan. I I I'm building I'm building a community of people yep. Yep. that enjoy good music. Right. You know, because that's what I'm about. Like, I, I follow other artists and, 
you know, even like locally, you know, like I, I like, I like people who are, who are, who are good at making music, not just like going on spitting bars, not all hype in the videos. Like, no, like, like, it's like music to my ears, literally, you know? Yeah. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, I will be sneaking and peeking on what song I'm going to actually drop. I haven't dropped the sing. I haven't dropped the name of the single, right, but. but there's going to be a single and I'm not saying anything specific, but it might or may not be within the next couple weeks. Yeah. And I might or may not have a video to follow it behind two weeks after that. All right, bet. So look, at least we got some things that, that people can uh, um, be excited about. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? So, if you haven't followed him, I would expect you to do that right now. His Instagram information, his little website with link tree or whatever he yeah, got yeah. going on is going to be in the description of the video. Um, please make sure you follow him. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It's going to help with the algorithm, push the video forward. I think this message needs to be heard. And I think people need to know a little bit more who L Wood is and what he got going on with his artistry. So I want to thank everybody again. And like with every coffee break, never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. See you later.